think this is pretty, but oh, there's one person. <laughs> I'm gonna tweet about it before I start breaking. Oh, hello everyone. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really bad at, at uh, technology. Oh my gosh. Tweeting about it, some more people come on, even though there's already 300 people. That's a lot. I didn't realize there were gonna be the same people here. Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, let's start baking. I have barely done anything um, this whole coronacation, as I like to call it. And now today, uh, my classes for the rest of the semester have been canceled. So I'm home for the rest of the semester until August. So baking relaxes me. Let's, let's bake, we're gonna bake some blondies. Um, so yeah, six hours until Animal Crossing is a lot to handle right now. This is the last time I will be interacting with other people and doing anything other than playing Animal Crossing once Animal Crossing comes out. So, um, just letting everyone know in case anyone tries to tweet at me or, uh, you know, who will be playing Animal Crossing. So I found this recipe on Pinterest because I don't have recipes <laughs> of my own. Um, so, yeah, brownies are, I think, just vanilla brownies, right? I don't know. I like them better than brownies because I don't really like chocolate that much. So, um, yes, sugar, butter, flour. I do have sugar and I do have butter. And I do have flour. This was the last thing of flour at our local Walmart because people are just buying everything. And it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot that people are not only buying all the toilet paper, but also all of the eggs, all of the flour, everything that I could need for for anything. So yeah, I know I, I look like Sydney and get <laughs> okay. I, I don't know what everyone's doing with all the flour. Like I, I honestly don't understand. I get toilet paper, I guess. I don't really, but it makes more sense than flour. Um, yes. So, yeah, I'm going to go get some eggs out of the fridge over here. Mm -hmm. I got eggs. Um, <gasps> Sam is in here. That's my friend that, that I got confused with. For on Twitter. That's Sam. She's my best friend growing up. Hi, Sam. <laughs> um, yeah, I know it's a loud fridge. I know. Um, okay, so first I'm gonna combine some butter with some eggs. That sounds right, right? Does that sound right to everybody? Sounds right to me? Yeah, sounds right. So uh, how much butter do I need? One fourth cup of brown sugar. Let's do some measuring. Hello, everyone. Does anyone have any? Uh... I am not on spring break. My spring break technically is supposed to be next week, um, but this is our extended week of spring break while I figure out how to do online classes. So I don't have any homework this week or next week, but the week after I'll be doing online classes for the rest of the semester. So I'm moving out of my dorm officially on Monday. I won't see my friends again until August, which is very sad. Um, I was supposed to study abroad a lot this summer. I tweeted about it a lot. I was going to Oxford. I was going to Ireland. And uh, it all got canceled. <laughs> so I will be here um, the whole summer. Um, which, you know, worse things could be happening. I understand this is this is necessary, but, you know, still, still a little sad. Um, let's see. Are there any, you got the dry ingredients and what separately, but it told me to, to cream my brown sugar with my eggs, with my, with my melted butter first. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm not the best at baking. It just relaxes me. Okay. Um, Adam's family is, we are on a hold of rehearsal, on rehearsals right now. If you didn't know, I'm currently playing Wednesday in a local production of the Adam's family. Um, we are postponing rehearsals. It's not supposed to happen until the end of June. So I'm hoping that the show will still happen. We're just gonna have less rehearsals than we plan now, but we still have a few months, so that's okay. Um, 
yes, everyone is telling me that this is this is right. And also, yes, what matters is that I try. I will try to stream Animal Crossing, but I'm gonna be honest, guys, streaming this right now on my laptop was very difficult. So I don't know. I don't know how to stream video games, but I'll, I'll figure it out for you because I will be playing nothing but Animal Crossing and doing nothing else until I have to start doing online classes again in two weeks. So I don't know why I'm gonna name my town. I, I have thought about it and I can't come up with anything good. So I'm just hoping somebody will come to me tonight whenever I open up the game for the first time at midnight. If you all have any suggestions, tweet them at me, tell them to me now. Um, Cause I, I have nothing currently. Animal Crossing is the best game of all time. That is a fact. You all should play it if you are able. And you all should be my friend. And you can visit my island. I will visit your islands. My friend code is on Twitter. So add me. I will add everyone back that has uh, added me so far. Um, Tybee Island is pretty good. Blondie Island is also pretty good. I used to play Pocket Camp. I don't as much anymore just because... I, uh, I don't know, I kind of got bored of it, and it kind of just made me miss, like, real Animal Crossing. Um, and especially now with this one coming out so soon, I, I haven't really played it as much. So, yeah, I used to play, uh, used to play Pocket Camp, though. Um, my favorite Animal Crossing villager? Oh my gosh, that's a very hard question. Um... I really like, oh my gosh, someone help me with their name. It's the uh, cute little alpaca, I think, or a sheep that's like purple and has a scarf. I cannot think of their name for the life of me. But um, someone, does anyone know? Rosie, is that it? No, I don't, I don't know what their name is, but that, whatever, whatever that one is, that, that one's my favorite. I honestly have no idea. It could be anything. Um, it, maybe it's Muffy. Hmm? Stardew Valley is a lot of fun. I do play a lot of Stardew Valley. I have played Stardew Valley for a little over a year now. Um, it started on my Switch, so I mostly play on my Switch now. I have an online farm with one of my roommates, who I miss very much. Um, so that's fun. But yeah, I do, I do enjoy Stardew Valley, and I have been playing that in my my time until Animal Crossing comes out. Um, oh, no, no, no. Reese, Reese and Cyrus are the ones that, that own that shop in, in, uh, in New Leaf. Is that right? It, not one of those. Um, it's the, the, the villagers, the, the rounder ones. Are they sheep? I, I honestly don't know. Um, I, yeah, I, I trust you all. I honestly don't know. Um, who did I marry first? Oh my God. Um, her name, is her name Annie with her hair? That's who I married first. I was immediately in love with her. So that is who I am currently trying to marry again in my second game. Uh, what recipe am I using? I found it on Pinterest. It's, um, from... Let me, let me tell you while I while I put my butter in the microwave to melt because I'm not melting it on the stove. These are just for my dad. So, um, it's from a website called Cooking with Carly. I do just a recipe I found that had like all the ingredients I already had here except for flour. So, I we all understand not wanting to go this far more than we have to. Um. Does anyone? Thank, thanks, thanks, guys. I will stream me playing Animal Crossing um, if I can figure it out because I've never streamed video games before and I don't really know how. Um, thanks about the kitchen. This is my parents' kitchen. It's not a keg. It's like a fake tap. It says three lasses on it because that's what they called our, our house because me and Sydney and Taylor. You know, you get it. Okay. <laughs> I 
I know Justin can help, but um, I like to do things on my own now that I'm an independent adult in my second year of college. So I'm basically an independent person. Does anyone have any questions while I'm waiting for the butter to melt and uh, and to continue baking? Yes, I love an independent woman. Uh, is that is that better for everyone? <laughs> um, what am I studying? I'm studying English and political science. Um, I want to go to law school, so I'm double majoring in those. Um, next semester, I have six classes. Three of them are political science, and three of them are English. I'm taking a workshop in creative nonfiction and one in poetry. I'm taking a class in um, young adult literature. I'm taking a class about women in politics and political theory. So I'm taking a class about constitutional law, lots of interesting stuff. So. <laughs> um, yeah, English majors. But, well, any recommendations for films to watch while stuck at home? So this might be a, a hot take, but I'm not a big movie person. I like TV shows a lot. Like I will binge an entire series really, really cute, really fast. Um, but I'm not a big movie person. I don't know why, it's just like never been my thing. But uh, my mom and I just started watching Little Fires Everywhere on Hulu. It's very good. I recommend that if you're looking for something to watch. It's not all available, but that might be nice. You know, something to look forward to over this current occasion since we don't know how long it's going to be. Um, Gilmore Girls is always a favorite. Always go back to that one. Watched it many times. I like The Office. I like Parks and Rec a little bit better than The Office. Maybe that's a hot take. Maybe not. Um, my I did see the Beetlejuice musical on that. Someone asked that because I saw that last weekend um, while I was in New York or two, weekend, two weekends ago while I was in New York. Um, and it was a truly transformative and magical uh, theater experience. I have not stopped listening to it since. I've not stopped talking about it since. I'm sure everyone in my life is very tired of me. Um, talking about it, but it was just so good. The music and the, the puppets and the costumes and all of it was so good. So yeah. Also Jess is obviously the superior boyfriend of Rory in um, Gilmore Girls. So that's not even a hot take, that's just a fact. If any of you watch Gilmore Girls, I hope you agree. Um, I do hear that beautiful sound. That is the sound of clean white shorts turning brown. You know what I mean. I'm getting my, my mixer also, in case you're wondering, I didn't just disappear. Um, I'm glad you all agree with me about um, Beetlejuice. It, it really is just one of the best things I've ever seen. Have I read anything good lately? So I've been reading a lot of stuff for school, but I recently read this book. We were in a uh, creative nonfiction seminar. So we read a lot of like creative nonfiction, like memoir books. And I read one called Lying um, by, her name is Lauren Slater. And it was a great book. It was really, really good. I really recommend that. I really like nonfiction. And that was a good, um, a good twist on the genre. i um, also reading a book called Crapalacha right now for that class. And it is also very good. It's about a guy writing about his experience growing up in Appalachia. So that's where I, that's where I am. Um, what's been my favorite college class? Actually, this semester, my, my seminar in creative nonfiction. So in our scholarship program, we are all in different majors and colleges. But the one we had this year or this semester our seminar was in creative nonfiction, which is like my genre that I write in when I write creative writing in my English major. So it was like mine with all my STEM major classmates. Um, and it was great. And now it has been cut short. I'm very sad about it, but yeah, it was great. Also, uh, yes, In the Dream House is amazing. Also had to read that. It was just one of the best things I've ever read. Um, 
Hold on, I'm gonna go get the beaters. I got them. Um, what college do I go to? I go to Marshall University here in Huntington. I, uh, my house is about 10 minutes or less away from campus, which is very nice. You get to see my family a lot. And I got a, a full ride academic scholarship there. So that's always nice. What kind of law do I want to practice? Um, so I think I want to do like public interest, human rights, that kind of thing, like ACLU type law. Um, immigration law also really interests me. So something along those lines. But you know, first I gotta, you gotta take the LSAT and get into law school. So you know, just gotta gotta cross that, gonna cross that bridge when I come to it. Um, I will stream Animal Crossing. <laughs> I promise. I just gotta figure out how to do it, but I promise I will. Probably not tomorrow because I want to get into it first. But then I will stream Animal Crossing because I'm gonna be home for so long. So I'm gonna have nothing else to do. And I'm, I'm putting butter into into here. That's what it said to do into my sugar. Um. Thank you. Thank you. That is very cool. I would love to work for the ACLU someday, but whoever knows the uh, director of the ACLU in West Virginia, that's where I am. In case I, I feel like everyone knows that. I'm glad I have calming energy. I feel like we all need that in uh, in this time. You know what I mean? Like we all need you know, some calming energy. Do, should I mute this while I blend this? Is that going to be unpleasant? Like, Ear, ear wise, what is what does everyone think? Because I I will mute it if that's going to be an unpleasant thing to listen to. But hmm? Hmm? guess no, you can take it. No, all right, I'm gonna do it. Yes, let's test it. supposed to be social distancing. I thought that meant no one talked to me. This is a long time. Um, yeah, so what's next? I blended my brown sugar and my butter, in case you're wondering. Um, and next, I'm going to add in some eggs and some vanilla. That's what, that's all I do. Um, my favorite thing I've ever baked. That's a good question. Um, I also just, I don't know if these eggs are hard boiled or not. We're gonna figure it out by trying to crack one open. Um, my favorite thing I've ever baked is probably, no, they're not hard boiled. <laughs> um, oh gosh, that's a good question. Um, I helped my mom bake Charlie's first ever birthday cake and now she bakes them, um, which I don't, I don't help with as much anymore, admittedly, but yeah, we baked Charlie's first birthday cake, which was, um, it was a lot of fun and, you know, very, uh, sentimental. So the one hand crack, I know, um, no, <laughs> My parents like to keep hard boiled eggs in the same like egg container and it's the same color as the one that aren't hard boiled. So I grabbed it and realized I didn't know which container was hard boiled and which one wasn't. I was just going to find out when I, when I opened it. It was not hard boiled, so it was fine. Um, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I am an alt. An aunt is wild. I'm an aunt to two small children and they are my best friends. I love them very much. Um, 
I love being an aunt. It's it's my favorite thing. I get to see them a lot and get to hang out with them. That was one of the reasons I wanted to stay here for school. So I could see them um, hang out with them. Get to know them as they're growing up. Which has been great. And I get to spend a lot of time with them. Um, and now, yeah, Sydney, Sydney's here. Everyone say hi to Sydney. They are my best friends also. Glad we agree. Hi, Sid. How are you doing up the hill? Hope everything is well. I think these are the eggs that Justin brought us. So... Thank you, Justin and Sydney, for um, the eggs. Yes, it is actually Sydney. Yeah, everyone say hi to Sid. Crashing my live stream, but it's fine. I'm adding two teaspoons of vanilla after I added two eggs. I'm not gonna eat the raw mix. I feel like that's not the move. Um, my favorite thing I did in New York other than seeing people do. So that's a good question. I uh, actually, um, hold on, let me grab a spoon. So I got to visit NYU's campus, which is a, um, a uh, law school that I've been looking at pretty, pretty heavily because they have a full ride scholarship also and they have a good program for what I think I want to go into. So um yeah I got to visit their campus. Taylor took me up there, walked around, went to Washington Square Park, had some lunch together there near the campus, got some coffee. It was very nice. So I uh I hope I get to go to school there because it was a really great campus and I I think I would love to to be there for a few years. Um, hold on, I'm gonna have to use this mixer again. So if you had it yourself last time, do it again, because um, then I will show you the mix. Everyone wants to see the mix, let me, let me do it one more time. And then we will see the mix, okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have worn white, but this just means I have to uh, be extra careful. Charlie says, you're so amazing. Oh, hi, Charlie. I love you very much. Thank you. You're very sweet. This, uh, this is going to... It's on my computer, so I can't really move the computer, but... Uh, next. All right, all right. I'm not going to eat the batter. <laughs> Everyone stop telling me to eat the batter. Um, oh, Elle Woods is my idol. I'd love to be Elle Woods, honestly. Um, what's, what's, what's next? Add the flour, baking powder, and salt. So remember that. Remember that. Flour, baking powder, and salt. The last flour in Huntington, apparently. I think I'm sad about closing school. I miss my friends. Um, two of my roommates are were moving out after this semester and we weren't gonna live with them again. I live with seven other people, by the way. Um, and we didn't really get to say goodbye. It was kind of just like, we didn't know that we were gonna be moving out and we did and it was just all very sudden. And yeah, that was, that was pretty sad, but um, I will, I'm sure I will see them again. We're still going in the same school. They just won't be living with us anymore. So, you know. Wait, is there a batter? Oh, about me eating the batter? Cooper is asking if Mimi is home with me. <laughs> yeah, Mimi's in the other room. So is Pop. Hi, Cooper. Hi, Charlie. 
Hi, Sydney. Hi, Justin. My whole family. Thank you for typing flour bacon powder salt. It's good reminder. Half the flour. Let's mix in a little bit because we got half the flour in there. I found it online. Yeah, the, the recipe was online on Pinterest, which is where I go for all recipes. Um, oh, I know another thing I baked that I really liked. So for Christmas, I couldn't get presents for everyone like at school with me for all my friends. So I made them all little treat boxes that were like holiday themed. So I made like some peppermint bark. I made some hot chocolate cheesecake truffles. I made some um, dark chocolate and peppermint cookies and put them all in these little boxes with their names on them. And it was very cute. That's that's also a favorite thing I baked more recently. That was really fun. I really liked them, so that was, that was good. Um, we're making blondies to anyone who is just joining. Any, a blondie, as far as I know, it's a vanilla brownie. And like, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's that's my understanding of what a blondie is. I've always liked them better because I don't like chocolate, so. Um, I have played D&D. &D. We are still buffering. Bonus episode last Max on Drive was me DMing for Sydney and Taylor and our mom, which was a lot of fun. Um, I've also, I DM'd a, a short campaign for my roommates last year. So that was also fun. Um, I enjoy d and I enjoy um, DMing, I think, more than playing. I like, like telling the story and, and writing the story and all that stuff. Um, but I have also played once over Christmas, I think, custom DM'd for Sydney, me, and mom and dad and Taylor, if I remember correctly. Um, so yeah. Everyone does show up for Riley. <laughs> and my favorite. Okay, that's the last of the flour. So, I'm gonna make some more. A random thing to put into your campaign. Good question. Um, you say a, a shop. Put a put Jim Spaghetti in your campaign. The the cornerstone, classic, Huntington culture. It's the thing everyone always tells people to do whenever they come to Huntington. I've only ever been there like twice, and I've lived here my whole life. But that's like a Huntington thing, I guess. JFK ate there once, I think. He did. There's a table that he uh, sat at. You can also sit at if you ever come to Huntington. So a tidbit. Someone will tell you to go there. Um, something that made me smile today. Um, my mom was hanging out with Charlene Cooper. And I told her that they should be my method of waking up. So they came and woke me up this morning and set up my alarm, which was a very pleasant way to wake up. And I enjoyed that very much. That made me smile first thing as soon as I woke up. Do I consider my family members famous? Um, I mean, logically, yes. But, like, to me, I've known all of them my entire life, obviously. So, I don't feel any different hanging around any of them. Sydney, Justin, all of you. Good. Travis. Um... Thank you that my outfits are always cute. I, I do enjoy a good good outfit moment. <laughs> um, two teaspoons of baking powder. What's something I've done recently that I'm proud of? Can I have a question? Um, Oh, I uh, I had to write a good bit for my um, creative nonfiction seminar. We had to write a prompt, which they usually only have to be one to two pages. And she gives us like a prompt of what they should be about roughly. And then we get to, and let's drop everything. We get to make it, you know, our own. Um, 
And I wrote like three different ones because I couldn't decide and she liked all of them. And I really admire her as a creative writing professor and as a creative writer. So that really made me proud. I was proud of that. I don't have a favorite McAvoy. I love everyone. Charlie. <laughs> Anything baking related to struggle with accomplishing? Macarons. I had tried to make them before and they never turn out right. I feel like they're so difficult to get right. Any other? My favorite movie recently? Mm. Um, ooh, the other night when I was home alone and I was bored, I watched Bombshell, that new one about like Fox News and Megyn Kelly. That was pretty good. My favorite movie of all time is probably a tie between Legally Blonde or Clueless or Mean Girls, one of those two. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for any movies to watch, I highly recommend all of those, even if you've seen them before. I think they're always good to rewatch. Midsummer is very good. I did watch Midsummer around when it came out with my roommates, and we all enjoyed it. Very creepy, um, but I, I like that. I like that kind of horror movie that's not necessarily just like gore and jump scares, but more of like a creepy, like psychological horror movie almost those are those are my kind of scary movies i really enjoyed that mm -hmm. opinion on the legally blonde mean girls musical so i haven't seen the legally blonde musical i have seen the mean girls musical and i've listened to both of them many many times i love the legally blonde musical like I, that's what my dream role is to do legally blonde the musical and play Elle woods i think the music is great i think it's like that good blend of um like story from the movie and then making it musicals so and making it different with songs and not just like trying to translate everything exactly um but uh i i also enjoy the new girls musical i think it's good too but i just prefer legally blonde but i i know all the songs to all of them both so opinions on mama mia so i was just in mama mia last summer um i was sophie it was a lot of fun. I think it was my favorite show I've ever done until this summer doing Adam Sandler, which I hope still is going on and everything still happens, but that is undecided. I'm also directing a children's pre-show right now. Um, 101 Dalmatians. And we've had to cancel and postpone all rehearsals for that. So I hope that happens as well. Cause it's my first time directing and I really, really enjoy it. And I hope that all goes as it's supposed to, but I guess no one really knows, um, you know, how anything's going to go right now. Yeah, I've never directed before, but um, I am directing. There's another college student who is vocal directing and another one who is choreographing. And we're all ladies. So I think it's the first all-female young adult directing team at our theater company. So that's really cool. Um Yeah. Theater in school. <laughs> um, balancing everything in my life is extremely difficult, but actually it's gotten easier as I have been out of school now for a considerable amount of time and will be for a considerable amount of time. Um, pretty much the semester until classes were out, I was, sorry for the noise, I was in class, um, until 5 30 or 6 30 every day and then except for fridays and then i had rehearsal at 6 30 every day except for the days i didn't have class and then i had pre-show rehearsal to direct at five followed by adam family rehearsal at 6 30. so and then saturday mornings i had pre-show rehearsal um and then you know the most rest of my weekend was spent sleeping and doing homework so 
the, the break from classes is actually definitely nice for that reason, because I have a little bit more free time and I can do homework and classes online and take my time and then have more time for rehearsals once they start back up. Hopefully they start back up soon. Um, yeah. When do I sleep? Very, very late. Yes, they are chocolate chips. This recipe told me I could add whatever I wanted and I had chocolate chips and I like chocolate chips. So I added chocolate chips. I always have time to visit anyone's Animal Crossing Island if you send me a friend request on your Switch. My friend code is on Twitter. I will add everyone back. They are very good. Um, yep. You're right. <laughs> I know I said I didn't like chocolate that much, but I feel like if you add chocolate chips and it's something that's not chocolate, it just gives like that nice little like amount of chocolate that's not too much. It's like a chocolate chip cookie, you know? Like I like those because it's just a little bit of chocolate and like a regular cookie. Just a little, just a little chocolate. I would love to send chocolate to all of you. Unfortunately, I think, you know, things going anywhere is a little bit questionable right now. Um, you all should make blondies. This was like a handful of ingredients and was pretty easy to make, although I have a mess everywhere now, but we'll take care of that later. Um, this is the, the finished batter. Mm -hmm. Looks, looks like batter, I think. So, um, brownies can have a little chocolate as a treat. A little chocolate. They can have a little bit. Yeah, my theater practice has been postponed um, for at least a week. But the thing about Adam's family that's good is that the main cast is about nine people. So hopefully in a few weeks we can start having small group rehearsals if that's possible at that point. But again, no one really knows. So for right now they're postponed. The show is still happening because the show is not until the end of June. So I hope they do this. Especially since I'm not traveling anymore this summer. Theater is like what I'm doing for my whole summer. So I really hope, I really hope everything still goes as it should. Buttermilk biscuits sound delicious. You should definitely make those. Whoever said they were going to make those. That sounds great. I do miss Vine, of course, because I grew up like right at the time that Vine was like peak peak vine was right when I was getting vine, but now I, uh, I love TikTok. So, you know, my parents actually told me they really wanted to learn TikTok dances with me while I'm home for this long vacation. So do you want to follow my TikTok? I guess there will be some wholesome parent TikTok dancing on there at some point in the future. I have been going outside. Um, the weather has been great and I hope it stays that way. Um, favorite song in Beetlejuice? I feel like Dead Mom is like the, the standard answer, but it's a very good song. I really like Home, the one that Lydia sings towards the end, but I also really like Say My Name. So one of those, those are all very good. Um, I'm so sorry your show got canceled. That really is just so rough i can't even imagine and i'm so sorry if anyone got shows canceled just share some videos of your singing and your acting online i'll share them and love them i'm so sorry shows got canceled the tiktok name is riley small <laughs> okay so I have been on here for about 40 minutes and all that's left to do is put these in the oven. So, but they have to be in the oven for about 30 minutes and uh, I haven't eaten dinner. So I, if, does anyone have any last questions before I hop off and put these in the oven? I will post pictures on my Twitter once they're done and my dad's review because these are mainly for him. <laughs> mm -hmm. My favorite book is Turtles All the Way Down from, um, by John Green, for sure. 
favorite smell. Ooh, it's the, the candle scent sweater weather um, from Bath and Body Works. That is the best scent. I will smell that all, all year long. I am 100% hyped for the new Animal Crossing. I have been <laughs> I have been counting down the days. My mom just chimed in. Is that my mom? Oh, they are not hard-boiled. Hi, mom. I know. I already used them. <laughs> it must be a little bit behind. <laughs> uh, if you want to hear my impression of Justin, you should go check out the Sawbones episode I did. That was my first podcast episode ever, I think, like, back in 2014. Um... I filled in for Justin and we had a body swap and it was pretty good. So you should go check that out. Um, yes, the teen girl episode. That is it. So if you want to check out my Justin impression, apparently people thought that that was a, an impression of Justin, but it was just me trying to, to, to goofs like he would. And, uh, I think my mom always says that I learned how to be funny from being around the McElroy boys so much. So I guess my sense of humor is, is reminiscent of some of their also sense of humor. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Any episodes of Still Buffering I'm particularly proud of? Um, how to Theater with Lynn manuel Miranda for obvious reasons, because Lynn manuel Miranda was an episode of my podcast. Um, and we've done a few more serious ones, like about body image and um, things like that, mass tragedies that I think were some of my favorites just because it's harder to be more serious when you do a comedy podcast. But I think I'm proud of those because we all were. Tips for learning lines? Oh, that's a good question. I usually will make like an online Quizlet or um, a set of flashcards and write down the line right before mine and then go through them and see if I can know the line after. And then usually I can like have someone read all the other ones in the scene and know mine pretty well. My glasses are from Forby Parker, I think. Um, Oh, they are from the Eggman. The Eggman is Justin. He did drop these off and leave these on our porch because everywhere is out of eggs. So these eggs were from Justin. Thank you, Justin, for the eggs. I forgot these were from you. Um, yeah, eggs straight from the McElroy household. The most shocking difference of the eras? Probably just like thinking about not having that kind of instant communication with friends like texting and stuff like that because I've grown up always having that kind of stuff as long as I've had a phone so thinking about like having to call someone's house and talk to their parents <laughs> to get to talk to them is just you know my social anxiety nightmare I will uh, drop the recipe on my twitter if you're gonna go check it out um Justin was lucky and got eggs from the store before uh before they sold out. All right. Um, I'm glad you all enjoyed the live stream. I, uh, I think I needed it as much as other people needed it. A little relaxing break from all the news and everything that's going on right now. So yeah, I'm glad you all came. I really appreciate you all joining me. It's nice to be able to talk to people and get things back in return. Being uh, stranded in this house now for like six days. So Thank you all for joining. Um, I will be sharing lots of Animal Crossing content on my social media after tonight. Um, I will also figure out how to live stream Animal Crossing. So I can do that once I once I get into the game and, and can live stream and hang out and share my island. Um, yeah, so thank you all for watching. Um, thank you for watching me make blondies. I will let you know if uh, people, my dad, enjoyed them. Um, yeah, all right. So I'm sorry if anyone just jumped in and I'm ending it, but yeah, I'm gonna go bake these blondies and they take half an hour. So it'd be pretty awkward to sit here and look at you all for half an hour. So. Everyone have a good night, wash your hands, stay safe. 
Um, I'm sure there will be lots more live streaming stuff going on on this YouTube channel and, you know, all our other social medias over this break because we all, we all need it. So, all right. Bye, bye everyone. Thank you for watching. And um, I will let you know how the berries and the blondies turn out. <laughs>